Black Box Sports, Damon Gonzalez here with Keith One Time Thurman, March 12th, Saturday, Mohegan Sun, CBS, against right, Sean man. Porter. How you doing, Keith? Doing good, man. Saturday, we in the gym, man. We're going to get this workout in, man. Just did a little bit of warm-up. But um, you can see, man, the gym's packed today, man. You know how it is over here in St. Pete Boxing on Saturdays, boys. Come one, come all, man. This is what the gym's about, man. We be getting it in. Keith, you know what's exciting about this fight for the fans? You know, it's, it's that type of fight that it's not a fight on paper. It's a fight of two guys that are warriors that we know that one of you are going to come out on top. Talk about your performance going into that fight, how big it is for you as the champion to face a guy like Sean Porter. You know, it's uh, like you said, man, this is a great fight. You got two of the best all-American welterweights that America has to offer going toe-to-toe -to -toe on CBS primetime. A beautiful stage, a beautiful network. You know, last time there was a primetime fight on CBS, it was Muhammad Ali. So it's just an honor and a blessing to uh, be competing on that network, man, to, uh, you know, give, to bring boxing back, man. It's been my dream as a kid to be one of the most entertaining, most exciting welterweights in the division. And, you know, I've been putting on a good show, and I'll be putting on a better one come March 12th. You know, guys talk about his bully style. Sean Porter is a great boxer, but he has such a bully style. But then we talk about Keith Thurman's speed. Talk about your speed going into this fight and, uh, you know, what we expect to see. Well, you know, Sean has bullied many fighters in the ring. And um, he likes to kind of almost attempt to run you over, run through you. Um, you know, me and him, we both have extensive amateur backgrounds. The boy does know how to box, but he... He loves to train with his strength and conditioning, and he likes to force his will upon you and to see if you can take what he can put out, you know. Myself, if you watch my fights, a lot of times, I might have somewhat of a certain style, but I show you a little bit of this in this fight, a little bit of that somewhere else. For example, you can watch the Carlos Quintana, where I was the bully. I was moving forward. I was pressing all the action. Then you watch when I fought Leonard Bundu, and for 12 rounds, I was dancing around the ring, even though I did open the fight with a first round knockdown, you know? So, I have different options. I have different uh, dynamics to my style, and I always bring each and every one of them into the ring. And Sean Porter is going to get to see a lot of different attributes of Keith One Time Thurman. He's going to see me sit in the pocket. He's going to see me move around him. He's going to see me slip his punches. You know, he's going to he's going to see me counter in in a similar fashion that Adrian Broner was uh, countering with with uh, check hooks and step back right uppercuts. So, you know, I'm really just attacking this fight, training hard for this fight, trying to be mentally prepared for everything that Sean Porter is gonna bring into the ring and then bring the right tools to eliminate Sean Showtime Porter. Defending that WB crown, man, talk about that. You know, it's been a, it's been a journey um, to attain the title. Once when we did, you know, we um, had to hold it down we held it down twice last year with uh, two good performances over Robert the Ghost Guerrero and Luis Colazzo. So um, this fight now, you know, it's it's great, man. I need another big fight. And Sean Porter is that big fight. Um, you know, he's only got one loss on his record. He's young, he's strong. He is an ex-world champion who held the IBF. And obviously, from being defeated by Kell Brook, him and his father are eager to be champions once again. And they're trying to do it through your boy one time right here. Champion, well said, man. It's gonna be a great night at the Mohegan Sun. We appreciate this interview and we'll see you fight night. Thanks for your time. Thanks for the love and respect. Tune in March 12th, CBS, one time.